All right, we're going to shoot just a little bit of an explanation of what we're doing when we're picking skis and what we do with them when we get them back here. These are Fisher skis that we've still got an inventory available to sell to people who call and order skis now. Most of the skis we pick, we're actually picking four skiers when we select them. This is all that we have left from our May selection trip. So there's not a lot left here, but we were back in September and there's a whole bunch more stuff that's on the ocean coming back over and we will have it again a little later in the fall. When we pick the skis, what we're actually doing is we're selecting cambers. The skis are all the same materially. Really, the, the production control is very good. The cores, the laminates, the bases, they're, they're functionally the same. And the basic mole settings are very consistent as well. What varies is the camber and the amount of preload that goes into the ski and the specific shape of the running surfaces and all of that really differentiates the specific qualities of the ski with respect to track conditions, moisture, and dynamic action and response. So when we pick skis, we're picking cambers. Getting to know cambers is really a question of testing material on the snow and learning what you like over time and correlating camber characteristics with performance characteristics. And we've been doing that for years. Reviewing cambers is kind of a question of uh, looking at the ski as though you're sighting lumber. If you get good, you can get a lot of information just out of what you see. You can measure the ski six ways from Sunday and you can learn a lot about it. And we've done it for many, many years, but you can shortcut that pr process pretty well. And so a lot of what we're doing when we go to a warehouse to pick skis is trying to look at a lot of skis and figure out which ones we like. More specifically, we're trying to figure out which production series we like. Skis are a lot like cookies. They make them in batches. While they can be different, they all are good, like a good batch of cookies. They all taste good, even if the shapes are a little different. Um, so when we're picking skis, we're paying attention to the production series, and we're trying to take skis from the production series, and we're, series, and we're actually recording that. So that's a week 19 production right there. A bunch of this stuff is week 12. I think week 12 is quite good universal skis. Um, we're also looking at some of the basic camber information. The, uh, the resting camber is something we track because that tells us a lot about the starting dynamic quality of the ski. If the ski rests really high at no load, then it's going to obviously deflect further under loading. And it has a different feel from a ski that's going to sit low at no load. So, you know, we're, we're measuring that resting camber and we're making some notes about the way that we expect the camber to behave on the snow. So by the time someone orders a pair of skis, we have a good idea of what we've already got. We record every single ski that we take away from the warehouse. We put it on a spreadsheet. We track the inventory with our own inventory ID number, plus all the camber characteristics, plus Fisher's measured flex values. I haven't spoken a lot about the flex values because they're not the most important thing, but they are a good guide. One of the interesting things this year is that somewhere in the spring, they started to measure skis using different equipment. Sometime between week 12 and week 19 or so, uh, the measuring equipment changed and all the numbers don't really relate to each other. So over here on week 12, we've got a, uh, a ski at 99 kilos FA and a HR of 2.6. And over here in week 20, We've got a ski at 105 kilos and an HR of 2.4, but this is a much softer ski. The numbers all went much higher with the new values. And uh, you really need to be able to feel the skis and see the differences in order to identify the skis you want this year. It's gonna be a one-time thing, but there might be some confusion out there if people really think they know what they want. Most of the time, when people think they know what they want in an FA value, they're wrong. They're just correlating their experience to one number. And the skis have so many more characteristics than can possibly be measured by that one number. So it's, it's not a thing that really affects us or our business very much, but there might be a little confusion in the marketplace for anyone who's really relying on that value to guide them because it's a moving target this year. It'll all come out in the wash and the skis are all really good. So yeah, we look forward to getting our second shipment, the skis we picked in September are still on the way, um, but we got plenty of material to work with. And man, these week 12 skis, they're good. Unless you want colder than week 19 is good. Ah, they're all good. We have good skis.